This 57 GMC is a little unusual. It's an automatic. It has the Army tank transmission in it. Hydromatic. Interesting things here. Dash does not look like a Chevrolet dash. Let me get in here and they're pretty proud. Give you a truck hydromatic. But you see here, there's no park position. Park is your parking brake. One through four, one through three, one through two, reverse. Very different, but not that far off. But the dash arrangement is very different than a Chevrolet. Nothing's labeled. You know, these your headlights. C for a choke, so... Well, at least you kind of knew, but it doesn't have the choke. It's automatic choke on this one. This is a Wipers. That's a Pontiac 347 labeled as GMC. That's just what they used in GMC. Here's something pretty cool. I don't see these on Chevrolets these years. But these braces. Apparently... That right there is one of the reasons you paid extra for a GMC. Of course, this one's got a hydromatic too. But today, let's get this carburetor rebuilt and the generator replaced, and then we will take a test drive. I went ahead and redid his fuel lines. Got the goofy electric fuel pump out of there. And that right there, that well, looks like a generator, but it's a PowerMaster alternator inside of a generator case. It was too big to have the fuel filter right here, so. And we see it's a little longer, had to create a spacer. And the fuel filters over there, that's some decent fuel lines. old straight axle and there's the old World War II army tank transmission we'll discuss that here in a second old steering everything well the history on that transmission the hydromatic 1939 GM designed that for the 1940 Oldsmobile model year. It was just a baby. 1941, it got to go to the Cadillac. Well, everybody knows what happened end of 1941 is World War II. And the Stuart Army tank, M3, had a Continental engine in it, air-cooled. And they needed all those Continental engines for aircraft. So M5 Stuart was a little redesigned. And what did they do? They chose Cadillac flatheads, two per tank with two hydromatics per tank. So here it was, a transmission that just came out a year earlier, barely tested, and it's over in war. And it did really well, as I find. Uh, clearly, I wasn't there, but the reports and history books say hydromatic proved itself in battle. It was in the European theater, it was in the Pacific theater, it was everywhere. And apparently that M5 did really well against the Japanese light armor. But to the mechanical side, the hydromatic and the Cadillac flathead did really well. So try that with a transmission these days, something that comes out. I would be scared to death to send that to war on some transmission that just came out. We won't say any names. Well, let's take a little test drive in the 57 GMC with the Army tank transmission, the Hydromatic. And it's doing pretty good.
The door's not shut. Now it is. And then we stop. It stops reasonably. It will give you a workout on the arms. It's not hard to steer. Just a lot of steering to do. Good night, we got a lot of traffic. Why? No parking position on the transmission, so it's always park and brake. Pull one down. Neutral's all the way up. Pull one down. That's drive. It's labeled 1-4. One One thing about these originals is it's even if it drives really good you got to remember it doesn't have much for brakes when they're perfect so you've got to plan out your stops and you don't want to go too fast it drives really good for what it is been a fun little drive in this truck it's not going to win any speed records and it's not going to re it's not going to win any handling records either But it's fun to drive. Nostalgic. And now we can just give it back to its owner. Over the years I've driven a lot of Tri-5 Chevy cars. Not so many on the stock trucks. Of course I've driven a lot of these hot rod trucks, but that's not a fair comparison. And the cars, they, they drive just fine. The trucks, well, there's an old saying. This drives like a truck. This is the type of thing that they were referring to. When they... Now, of course, standard fare for the old trucks of the 50s and through the 60s. You get tailgate chains. You don't get latches. You get chains. And that lovely wood floor. Which stayed with step sides the whole time. But the chain situation, that's that's what you got. 